this is an interesting thing. I should not do dishes to get sex. Right. 100% agreed. Right. And yet, the fact is, when I do dishes, the sex is better. Mm. I hear men complaining that their wives don't want to have sex with them and then I see videos like this and can't understand the confusion. You shouldn't be doing the dishes to get laid. You should be washing the dishes because they need to be clean. I know some of you feel like a hero when you've done something around the house, but you didn't clear her schedule. You just took one thing off a list of a hundred other obligations. When I made my wife a cup of coffee, I did not do it for sex or for any reason, for no, any accolades. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, when I do that, she can't, she, she can't keep her hands off me. And do you know why? Because you, you brought the intimacy to the sex, right? Mm. Exactly. So I think there's a point in, in the reason why I mention it is, is it not okay for us to understand that we should have pure intentions when we do things, but to also know when you do things, the reward is all the stuff that you want, mm -hmm. they come. Mm -hmm. So if it is in fact better sex you want with your wife, mm -hmm. You shouldn't do the dishes for that reason, but know when you do the dishes, the sex will be better. So you just you just well, put in a Liz, perfect way, I'm a perfect. Well, if you didn't believe that doing the dishes was women's work, then why would you expect to be rewarded for it, right? If you're doing dishes just as a partner, take the gender off the table. Just there's dirty dishes, and so I'm going to do the dishes as a partner. Hmm. Absolutely. Your wife can't keep her hands off of you because you acted like a partner. And for women, intimacy starts, doesn't start when you get on the bed, doesn't start when you're taking your pants off. It started that morning, mm -hmm. right? It started the night before when men want to talk about body count. And they say, well, Jamie it's doesn't different. know what that means. Oh, okay, yeah, so speak, body count. How many sexual TikTok. partners you've had? I'm sorry, you've got to remind is? me not to do that. So it's body count is how many sexual partners Only you've had. Only one. Right. Well, thank you for <laughs> it. She wasn't asking you, Jamie. <laughs> oh, she wasn't asking you. I've but it definitely adds a nuance times, to so the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, the argument is always, well, when, when we say, okay, so why do you judge a woman for multiple sexual partners, right. but you don't judge men? Correct. And Usually the answer that we'll hear is, well, because women can't detach emotion from sex, right? They can't just have casual sex. So you can recognize that women tend to tie emotion into sex, but yet you don't understand why your wife doesn't want to have sex with you when you're not providing her with any emotional support. Mm, mic drop. You know, we... Oh, we say that again. Can you just yeah, say that one more, one more time? time. That was great. So you know that women attach... An emotional connection to sex, right? That's that's why we say, oh, it's different when they have multiple sexual partners. And yet you don't understand why your wife doesn't want to have sex with you when you're not providing her with any emotional support. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And so we can understand these things when we want to understand them, when they benefit us, yes, when, when benefit we're us. using them as a, a talking point in a mm -hmm. conversation. But we can't when we're looking at our partner and saying, you know what? Mm -hmm. I want to feel closer to you. I hear men say all the, t all the time, well, listen, sex is how I feel emotionally connected to my wife, yeah. right? I, I would sit here there's and truth, I would- There's truth in that. There absolutely is. And I would dissect it a little bit to the conditioning that men have had. But if we're just having a you know, quick conversation, by all means, men do, right? There is yeah. a physical element to intimacy and to love. And I think a lot of men do feel more appreciated and they do feel love through sex. This There's is nothing where it gets wrong so, with that. So right? tricky because, as you just said, women want to feel emotionally connected first mm -hmm. and then have sex. So many boys and young men have not learned how to be emotionally open. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes you will find them be emotionally open after they've had sex or in the intimacy. So you have sex. And I learned in my first marriage, by the way, and I'm not saying this is right, but there was a minute where we were in this dynamic. She didn't feel connected. She didn't want to be intimate. Mm -hmm. I needed intimacy mm -hmm. to feel connected. Mm -hmm. So there we were at a standstill. And and the therapist told us, okay, how are we gonna work through this? Because you're both uh, programmed to, to function as you are now. Mm -hmm. So how are we gonna get through this? And that was, we never quite figured it out. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I'm married for you the first time. You were also 21. I, I was 18 when I got married, divorced at 22. How then do we bridge that by honoring women 
and also honoring men where they are at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, and, and here's what's really sad for me, right? Because what, what are we hearing as we're talking about this? Everybody wants the same thing, yep. right? Everybody wants to feel emotionally connected. We have men that want to feel emotionally connected. We have women that want to feel emotionally connected. And that, to me, is the saddest part about it all, right? We all want the same thing. Toxic masculinity hurts us all. Misogyny hurts us all, right? But we, we're constantly against each other. And I think what's hard is that as resentment, I always say resentment is the only thing that never dies. You don't have to work at it, mm -hmm. and it never dies. Mm -hmm. uh, love, got to work at it, and it can die, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think as resentment starts to grow in a relationship and people feel as though their needs are not being met, intimacy dies, right? And how do you get back to it knowing? Yeah, because men, men oftentimes will feel like they are being punished. Absolutely. Right? So it's like the, the act of withholding sex for them, for many men, is a punishment. And then you, the farther away you get, the bridge just kind of gets shattered and there's, you can't walk across it anymore. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and, know, go and, ahead. and then the focus is she doesn't want to have sex with me instead of why doesn't she want to have sex with me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I think it's a little bit the reverse where, well, I agree with you, but I also think that we over index how much women need emotion and over index how much men need sex. And I actually think men are emotionally deprived and women are sexually deprived. Like women's sexual needs aren't being met in a lot of straight relationships. We know that just on the data about orgasms. And so we know that there's that there's something that's not being met. And and I think a lot of men want to emotionally connect. Like to me, the example uh, of the guy that expects a, a, a sexual reward for doing the dishes is actually so derogatory to men because it implies that she doesn't want to have sex with you and you have to do something so that she will. Mm -hmm.